This video will be a continuation of our series on connective tissues and we are still talking about loose connective tissue proper and this video will cover specifically reticular loose connective tissue proper. Before we move on to our specifics, let's remember what unifies all of our connective tissues. First off, they all have a mesenchymal origin and so they have mesenchymal stem cells. And then all of our connective tissues are made of two major components, our cells and our extracellular matrix. Our extracellular matrix can be divided into two major categories. Ground substance, which is our fluid component of our extracellular matrix, and our extracellular fibers. We have three types of extracellular fibers. We have collagen fibers that provide strength in one direction. Collagen fibers typically stain pink. We also have elastic fibers which provide stretch and recoil. And finally, we have reticular fibers which provide a branching network that provides strength in many directions. While our collagen fibers normally stain pink, our elastic fibers generally stain dark purple, and our reticular fibers can stain either a dark brown black or light blue. So when we look at reticular tissue, we are going to see two different stains, and because we're staining with different material, our reticular fibers stain different colors. Now let's take a look at our reticular tissue in specific. So here we have two different slides of reticular tissue and they look vastly different. One of them is of a lymph node and the other is called a gold stain and here we're looking at the spleen. I am sure that you can tell why it's called a gold stain given its general color. But unifying characteristics that we see in reticular tissue is we have a branching network of fibers. In our gold stain, that branching network is going to be brown. And in our lymph node, that branching network is going to be light blue. And surrounding all of those fibers, we have cells that we call parenchymal cells and they can be different kinds of cells and they crowd around and attach to those reticular fibers. So let's look at the details of our reticular tissue in specific. I already gave you two locations for reticular tissue. We find reticular tissue in our lymph nodes, which is what we see in this picture to the left. We also find reticular tissue in our spleen, which was our gold stain slide. Reticular tissue also supports the structure of our thymus and our bone marrow. And the function is related directly to the structure as is always true because our reticular tissue is filled with reticular fibers and our reticular fibers are going to provide a supportive framework and strength in many directions as our reticular fibers are branched and point in all sorts of directions. When we talk about our specialized cell type, we don't really have a specialized cell type that is specific to reticular tissue um, because our parenchymal cells are going to change depending on what organ you're looking at. So sometimes the cells that fill in all the spaces are called parenchymal cells and sometimes you see stroma instead of parenchymal cells. In all of the tissues where we see reticular tissue, we are going to see many leukocytes, which are white blood cells, but we don't really have a specific cell type that I can point to and say, name this cell type, because I don't expect you to necessarily be able to distinguish between all of the different locations on a slide.
So we are going to kind of mark this guy out. We do definitely have a specialized fiber type, and I hope that you can guess that at those fibers are reticular fibers. So we simplified the material that we need to know a little bit by just focusing on our specialized fiber type. Here we have a close-up view of our lymph node so that we can see our specialized fiber types a little bit more clearly. And you can see that we have surrounding a capillary, we've got lots of reticular fibers pointing in all directions. And not just surrounding this capillary, these reticular fibers branch out and create this branching network in between all of our cells. So even when we're not even close to our blood vessel there, we can see reticular fibers branching in all directions between our parenchymal cells. Now we can compare our two slides. On the left we have a lymph node and on the right we have that gold stain which is our spleen and our reticular fibers in the gold stain are going to stain a dark brown. So we've got a lot of reticular fibers in this area here. It's even hard to highlight on this slide in an appropriate color because the slide is so darkly stained. So hopefully you guys can see this blue that I'm branching through. And you can see that those reticular fibers are really all over the place. And I think that they kind of look like tree roots branching in all directions, providing a good supportive framework just like tree roots would. And if we zoom in on that gold stain, we can see those reticular fibers a little bit more clearly. And we can see all of these brown or black tree roots snaking their way in between all of those parenchymal cells. As always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.